In 1981, a young aspiring writer and Doctor Who fan submitted an idea for a Lord of the Rings quiz book to Star Books, an imprint of the publishing house W.H. Allen. Little did he realise that eventually this would lead to him being editor of Target Books and taking responsibility for the Doctor Who novelisations and factual books. It was, he says, his dream job. This Mythmakers features writer and editor Nigel Robinson. We caught up with Nigel at the Doctor Who Appreciation Society convention Back to the 80s, held at the Pendulum Hotel Manchester in October 2015. Together with author Andrew Smith, Nigel was interviewed on stage by Anthony Weiner. I was most proud of bringing out the older Doctor stories. So I started working freelance as a proofreader and an editor on the Doctor Who novelisations. I think the first Doctor Who novelisation I worked on on a freelance basis was either Kinder or Snake Dance. Not quite sure which one, it's one of the two. I carried on doing that for about um, a year or so. At the time I was also temping, I was temping for the BBC. Uh, I was temping for the BBC for six months at Kendall Avenue, which is the branch of the BBC which organises transport for all their shows. And funnily enough, I organised all the transport for Attack of the Cybermen. And once I'd done that, the guys at WH Allen uh, gave me a ring, asked me to come in, and I was offered the job as junior editor at WH Allen which effectively meant looking after the target range, which was four books every month, three children's books, and one Doctor Who novelisation, which meant commissioning all the books, editing them, proofing them, and dealing with the amount of fan interest in the show. And there was a lot of fan interest in the show. It really was the dream come true. Um, I was working in a job I loved, working on a TV show I adored. <laughs> 